Have you ever hooked up with a fan of your music? Oh my God, y'all really trying to embarrass me, like. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Truth and Drink Celebrity Edition. My name is Omar. Today, we got a very special guest, Flo Millie. Bitch, I'm fabulous. Hey, I don't need his money. No, bitch, I got enough. Flo Millie shit. Yeah. Always like to, you know, set the tone and start off with a shot, if that's OK. 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 I mean, I'm a little hit right now already, so <laughs> cheers. Have you ever done the nasty while listening to your own music? Oh, my god. No, I haven't. I can't even picture that. Mm -hmm. Like, my music is so hype and bubbly. Like, yeah. that wouldn't even make sense. Do you have a song that someone should add to, like, their playlist? To their sex playlist? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Put that puss on their face. No face, no case. What are you most insecure about? I would probably say my anger. Describe yourself when you're like at your angriest. I'm probably like cussing everybody out, just really seeing some mean shit. Like, your mama should have swallowed you. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> what are your dating red flags? Ooh. <laughs> you don't respect your mother. You make less money than me. Mm -hmm. Never had a bad bitch. Mm. That's a big red flag, because like, I would never be the first bad bitch you have. Mm -hmm. So I want us to talk about the money piece. So whatever somebody who's like, <laughs> who's like coming up, you know, yeah. like super talented, just waiting for that. Because you know, everybody just needs one hit. And yeah. Then it <laughs> Do you date people in the music industry? Right now, probably not. Okay. Like, I feel like I've grown from that. Like, it's like a musician and a musician could get a little ego-based. Mm -hmm. Like, they'd be like low-key trying to compete. Yeah. Read me the last dirty DM you sent. Looking like a shot of clock. <laughs> it's a dangerous game. I see what y'all doing here. <laughs> what sex advice do you have for men? Learn how to eat pussy. Mm -hmm. So would you say you're like a teacher? Like if someone's giving you like, <laughs> you know, bad head and it's kind of like... I'm definitely going to tell them. Okay. And I think that's the bad thing about me. Like I'd be really like, no, it's like, this is how you do it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to help you. Okay. So you go on a date with somebody and they do it on the first date. Does that like change your view on them in any way or? Oh yeah, I definitely think he easy. Cause I feel like men are wired differently. Like y'all yeah. are not wired by emotions and women are. So if a man is doing something sexually, his emotions aren't attached to it. Mm -hmm. So he really don't respect you if he trying to get like sexual with you early. Yeah. But there's a lot of relationships where like they had sex on the first date and like married really? kids and just like. Really? Yeah. Damn, I didn't yeah. know that. Who was the last person who asked you for money? Definitely was Mike. Mike. Damn, I don't mean to put Mike out on the spot mm -hmm. like that. I don't know, that's kind of fucked up mm -hmm. to ask a woman for money. Mm -hmm. Especially as a man. Yeah. Like, do you feel like a woman that buys you stuff is emasculating you? Or do you feel like... No, I like shit. No, I buy me shit. I, I'm trying to buy. Like, <laughs> you I'm said trying buy to, me shit. Yeah, like... That's Because I'm going to buy you stuff too, so... Yeah. yeah, I feel like it should be an equal giving. Exactly. Do I intimidate you? Nah, I feel like, you know, it's been a good vibe, you know, okay. super sweet. I don't want to get you angry, though, but outside of that, nah. Do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the style you sing in or rapping? Oh, my God. Y'all really trying to embarrass me, like... <laughs> twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Mm. When was the last time you had sex? Rate it on a scale from one to ten. What? <laughs> oh my god. I believe it was March of this year. March? Yeah. I give him an eight. Yeah. Yeah, solid. That's like, you know, college, that's like, you know, almost these list, so. Yeah. That's solid. So how come that's been like the last time, like? Like sexual energy, like I feel like us as women, we should know how powerful we are. Right. Giving your sexual energy to a man, that's feeding him, and you shouldn't use your pussy, to, like, as the first thing, like that so should freely. be a cherry on the top. Mm. When was the last time you had sex and mm. rate it? <laughs> I'll do a half a shot, cause I rate like, I don't You got this girl it. watching this, that's why. Like, I rate it, you know what I mean, like. Have you ever cheated or mm. been cheated on? I've definitely been cheated on, which led to me cheating. Oh, wow. Yeah, she kissed the guy oh, and wow. like, in front of all our friends too. So I was like, oh, yo, yeah, yeah. And when I cheated, it was pretty bad. I felt like shit after. 
Why would you feel like shit? No. Because I still yeah. feel like the empathy and stuff. Like, damn, yeah, I didn't I have to do all that. It's Plus, crazy. it was trash, too. So it just made it even worse. <laughs> no, I felt yeah. that. Have you ever been cheated on? And have you ever cheated? Yes, both. Okay. Which one happened first? I, I cheated first. Mm. He came from a two-parent household. I came from a single mother household. Right. So I wasn't used to that stability. He He's always seen people like be together. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just like, I didn't know how to accept that type of love. Right. And I felt like it was still more out there and it was my first. So mm -hmm. I was just like, I And just like learning as you down. go, kind of, you know? Yeah. yeah. But then when I got cheated on, I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, you ready? Mm -hmm. Who's hurt you the most in your life? Wow. I would have to say my dad because he was such a like point in my life that I needed mm -hmm. and was like taken away. But at the same time, I'm like happy about it because it made me stronger. Right. So it's like, right. yeah. What are you working on right now? I'm working on my deluxe. Yeah. I'm going to tour at the top of the new year. And after that, new music. I want to give you your own game to play with your friends oh, as well. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Spicy like, get spicy. Mm, that's what I like. We're going to play this today. Yes.